Hello everyone and welcome to episode number three of the Game Nights Audio Podcast. I am Swag and I am joined by my friend, uh, co-gamer and co-host k Hey, what's up folks? You know what they say, third time's the charm. And we actually have a special show because, as promised, Swag is at the Game Developers Conference. Woohoo! That is correct. I am currently right now in one of the uh, little press booths here at uh, GDC09. Uh, there hasn't been a, a whole lot to report as of yet, uh, as uh, the first two days of the conference are dedicated to seminars, uh, and a lot of them are uh, specifically for the developers, like how to do certain things and social networking and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I did get to check out uh, a couple of things, and um, I will be reporting a little bit on that as well. And you sh- and as, uh, as always on the program, we will have news. And then we are going to throw it over to K-Wing, and he's got all the new releases for the week. And then lastly, we're going to talk a little bit just about randomness. We're going to talk about some games that we're playing. Uh, I'm, I just started playing Resident Evil 4. We could talk about that. And I also had uh, some questions about uh, game testing, because I am a I used to be a video game tester, so we'll probably go ahead and I can answer a few of those questions about that. Perfect for the mailbag. Exactly. So um, I will go ahead and talk about the one game uh, that I got a chance to check out today that I thought was interesting, which is Dragon Age Origin, which is the new RPG from BioWare. You probably know them. Uh, They they made uh, uh, some great games such as Jade Empire, Knights of the Old Republic, and a little game called Mass Effect. I don't know if you guys have actually heard of that one or not. (laughs) I have. I have. <laughs> yeah, and so um, uh, unfortunately, the embargo for the information that we saw today um, is not up Ooh. until next Monday. So, but next Tuesday, I can give you guys the uh, all the information that I saw today um, for Dragon Age Origin. But um, I can definitely say that it is looking, it is shaping up to be a pretty good game. I also did a video interview, which I will give a link to in next week's podcast as well. You guys can check out the full video interview that I did with the lead developer. Sweet. Uh, and then also, right after I'm done with this podcast, I'm also going to check out that new Duke Nukem game I told you guys about before called Duke Nukem Critical Mass for DS and PSP. Uh, and I will report to you guys on that as well, as well as all the stuff that's going to go on at GDC. I might just save it all till next Tuesday. I might do an update this week. Uh, we'll just have to kind of see what happens here. Yeah, stay glued to the Game Nights channel, folks. A lot of stuff's coming. Yes, we will also be posting a, a good number of interviews on the Game Nights channel as well, so keep it glued there, absolutely. All right, so let's get to uh, some of the news. Oh, uh, before Actually, before we uh, do some of the press releases, uh, one of the things that I want to talk about is, is the, uh, the embargo data is up on the DSi information. Uh, I mentioned last week a little bit about the DSi um, awesome. and how I think it's actually going to be a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Yep. And um, one of the things that I could not talk about, but I can now, is the point system. And they're essentially going to have a point system pretty much like they do on the Wii Virtual Console. Um, Nintendo points. Right, exactly. Nintendo points. It's exactly what it is. Um, and they're actually going to have a, a, some pretty cheap games. Um, and there's going to be a lot in both the uh, 200 and 500 point range, which essentially boils down to like 2 bucks and 5 bucks. Oh, and this is actually one of the big things right here is that when you sign on for the first time, you will actually get free 1,000 points. So when you buy the DSi and you and you log on to the um, Nintendo server, you will automatically get um, 1,000 free Nintendo points. So um, and then you can use that however you want. So that's one of the things, the uh, incentives that they are going to nice. be giving. So that way, you guys. Um, uh, when you have the DSi, you'll be able to start downloading stuff right away. Um, one of the games that came out this week, and you came when you might have this on your new releases, but um, mm-hmm. is Final Fantasy Cri- uh, Crystal Chronicles: Echoes of Time, which is a, a new Square game. Which you got, I don't know if you do. You, do you, did you play the Crystal Chronicles game on the GameCube? Uh, unfortunately, I did, and I had a lot of expectations going into it, and it was a big letdown. So, Square, if you're listening, I am really keeping my fingers crossed on this one. Right. Well, the the only reason why I think that this game is noteworthy and even worth mentioning in the news is because it allows the DS players and the Wii players to play with each other. 
So it's the first game where you know you can have you know it's not just you know Wii to Wii player or a DS to DS player that the Wii players and the DS players can actually play with each other uh, supposedly on the same game. Um, wow. Yeah. So I mean that's that's actually uh, very interesting. So uh, I will definitely have to check that out and see you know uh, how well that that actually works because you know sometimes they'll announce things and they sound cool and then you try them out and they're not so cool. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Um, one of the things I also wanted to mention here is that uh, one of the first video games or video game reviews that I did was for a game called Savage Two on PC. I remember that. And the game is now free. the 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 full game is now free to play. Um, go to s two games dot com, guys. And, and I really, you know, this this was a really fun game. Uh, I mean, especially for free. I mean, you know, I I got to play it can't for free. Can't beat free. Yeah, you can't beat free, honestly. And and it's the for the kind of game that it is, for it to be free is is really good. I mean, you know, I got to play it for free because, you know, the uh, the developers gave me a, a free code. But, um, and honestly, I don't know if I would have paid the twenty nine ninety five to play it. But for free, Ouch. it's it's for- really. It's it's worth it, guys. I, if you guys like a, a lot uh, online play, especially maybe if there's some Warcraft players out there that really enjoy like the battlegrounds, too many Warcraft a lot, players, a lot of, a lot of PvP. Uh, for those who enjoy PvP action, I would definitely go. Uh, I would suggest that you go and try Savage Two again. The the full game, not just the demo. The full game is free, so you know you can't go wrong there. Um, a whole bunch of Rock Band packs coming out soon here. Even more oh Rock boy. Band stuff is going to be coming out uh, forever. Um, on March 24th, which is, hey, today, um, on the Wii, you can download the entire album of Pearl Jam's 10, which is a great album. Um, gosh, I, I don't mm-hmm. even know what happened to Pearl Jam. I, <laughs> they had like they had like three great albums, and then they just kind of seemed to, to fall off the face of the earth. Uh, d- did you ever actually listen to any of Pearl Jam stuff post Vitology? No, I wasn't a big Pearl Jam person. Right. Well, I, I just you know I don't know why they kind of got a little too folksy. I think is what it was, and, and why the radio stations just kind of shunned them after that. Um. So if if that's your you know the heck you could do a lot worse than than ten by Pearl Jam. I mean, there's you know, in my opinion, there's been maybe like three good bands you know main, in mainstream rock since the, t- the year 2000 and that's probably you know like Queens of the Stone Age uh, Muse and you know maybe like Wolf Mother or you know possibly I-, I will throw in My Chemical Romance too because I thought that they had a really good concept album uh, but that's pretty much it <laughs> so if you're Pearl Jam well, French to me <laughs> well I I I was a big Queen person, and after that, I, eh, I I didn't really follow music in general. Yeah, well, it's you know, honestly, I don't blame you because, like I said, popular rock today, it, I just think it's really, really bad. I mean, if you, I suppose you could count Velvet Revolver too, which was Guns N' Roses with uh, Scott Weiland, Stone Temple Pilots lead man. If you want to count that, or if you want to count Audio Slave, which was you know Rage Against the Machine with. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, with the singer from Soundgarden. I mean, I guess you could count those too, but I don't really count those. I still consider them 90s bands. Um, but anyway, dwell too much on that subject. And then also, uh, coming out uh, in May, there's a big pack for Rock Band called the uh, Classic Rock Track Pack, which features uh, 20 songs. And it's got kind of a hefty price tag on it. It's twenty nine ninety five. Yeah, uh, which it, that's pretty expensive for for DLC, um, but it's got some. Decent... Well, the, the rock band itself is so expensive to begin with, anyway. Well, yeah, it's, it, it is, but and I'm I'm not so sure if it, if it'll be worth it or not. But it's got some decent songs on there. It's got uh, it has bands Boston. It's got Dead Kennedys, which is you know like the, Ooh, the two the, the two best Dead Kennedy songs, which are Holiday in Cambodia and California Uber Alice. Um, you had me at Boston. Yeah, uh, George Thurgood and the Destroyers. Uh, I don't know why Jethro Tull is on there. Uh, the mm-hmm. Police. We got a couple of Rush songs. Um, mm-hmm. We've and uh, the Who. 
So with Bob O'Reilly and behind Blue Eyes. So <laughs> who knows? I mean, I, I I probably will not be paying $30 for it, but for you classic rock nuts out there, it, it might be worth it for you. Mm. So that's pretty much all I got for news. Uh, we'll be having a lot more news segments uh, going on at here at GDC this week. But uh, let's go ahead and we will throw it over to K-Wing, who's got your new game releases for this week. Take it away, K-Wing. Uh, 